What is going on guys? Tell Fisherman J here and today we are back. Did I scare you? Did my intro scare you? Did I yell too loud? She got a little scared. <laughs> today I am coming at you with a super awesome exciting video. Now this is a part two to a video that did very very well but before that, I wanna to talk to you about something super, super awesome. Coming at you from the team over at Mystery Tackle Box, and that is Carl's Bait and Tackle. Now, if you don't know who Carl is, he is now the official CFO of Mystery Tackle Box, and that's Chief Fishing Officer. Congrats, Carl, you're the man. Carl now has his own bait and tackle shop online. Think of it as bait and tackle stores, your local stores, but all online, e-commerce, somewhere you can go and get everything you need right on one website. This is a new website that will feature new products every single month on the website along with very general bait and tackle supplies that you will need. There will be a lot of new products being added month after month after month and that is why you guys need to keep up with it and join the club. Now it is $99 for the year. That's $8 a month to get some pretty decent incentives on the site. Incentive like wholesale pricing on lures and baits and tackle, 30% off of total purchases, a lot of special perks that comes with being a member. So definitely, definitely consider it. I will leave all the links in the description below. Go and check out Carl's site. Check it out, be a member, join the fam. It is awesome. It's the future you guys are gonna see. It's gonna blow up. Now the website is shopcarls.com. The information will be down below. I have a special link specifically for my subscribers to check out. One more crazy thing that I need to tell you guys and make sure you listen up. Shop Carls is having a sweepstakes. They are giving away $500 in tackle off of the site for free to one lucky winner. You literally have to do nothing other than sign up to the site. It costs nothing. You put your name, your email, and that's it. You are entered to win $500 in free tackle off of shopcarls.com. Now I will leave the link in the description for that as well. gocarls.com slash tallfishj. Make sure you click that link, put your email in, put your name, and you have a chance to win $500 in free tackle. So enough of me talking, let's get to the video. Make sure you check the links in the description. I hope you guys enjoy this video that we have to come. It is super, super fun. Catching a tank pet in the clear ditch part two. And we headed out to the clear canal. We caught a monster. I'm not gonna say it, just watch. Thanks for listening to me guys. See you later. So we are here at the ditch by request. You guys went crazy when I caught a fish out of here and made it my tank pet. Over a million views real quick. A lot of you guys have been requesting for me to come back here. And I decided, my boy Julian, his tank's looking dry. So I'm gonna catch, or at least I'm gonna help catch him a new tank pet from the ditch. Now this is going to be pretty exciting because today's kind of like a two part. We're gonna be catching him a tank pet, but we're also gonna be catching some bait to do some fishing at another location, super clear, but it's a little bit bigger than here, so it's really awesome. Later on tonight, we're gonna put the fish in his tank, and I am so excited. So let's get started. Hopefully we can get a decent size one. I know we're gonna catch fish here, but we need to get like a two or three incher, hopefully small enough to put in his little aquarium. So let's get today started. I am gonna have a blast. I cannot wait. Let's do this. Julian, I'm gonna get one for your tank. Here we go. I'm gonna get one for your tank right now. Oh, instant, right here. Here we go. Oh, he's too big, bro. First one. Oh, gosh. Chill out. First one out of the ditch for me. I'd say he's like a three, four incher. Super pretty, but a little too big for the tank. We're going to get Jillian probably when it's like two inches. But we're going to keep him for bait. Oh, there's a good one biting, bro. There's a really good one biting right now. Oh, that's perfect size. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I got him! Oh, dude, that's tank size right there. You got one, you got one. Yes. <laughs> Perfect tank size, dude. This one's definitely gonna make the cut for the tank. Oh, we're getting them all over here. <laughs> oh, I got one running with it. Baby, perfect size. Maybe even better than the last one. Oh, they're fighting for it. Come on, man, swallow it. Come on, come on, come on. He's just messing with it in his mouth. Perfect tank size. Literally like 
the best size you can ask for. Come on. I got him. Yes. Oh, I can't get this one off. Perfect. Oh my gosh, dude, another small one. Oh yeah. This one might be even better than the last. Dang. Oh my God, look at the spots on him. He's got three distinct black spots with like green circles. Probably one of the prettiest mines I've seen. This one is going in the bucket. Oh, we're getting them left and right now. Oh, oh, we got a bite, we got a bite. Definitely got a runner here. I don't know if this is a mine. I think it's a different species. Oh, got him, got him. Oh no, another mine. Oh yeah, that's bait size. Too big for the tank, but we're racking up the bait, you guys. We got something special. Hopefully, later on we can get some big catches, but these are perfect size for bait. Uh, these are also invasive, so to all of you guys that are gonna roast me in the comments, doing nothing wrong. Caught another little mine, look, touch him. A little one? Yeah, he's, he's small. Like, what do we need to do? Scoop. So we are at the next spot. Now we're gonna put the fish in Julian's tank in a little bit, but we decided to catch some more cichlids than we need and use them as bait as in this crystal clear canal where we know there are snook, tarpon, jack, yeah. and snapper. we snapper, and we're trying to get something big. Hopefully we get one. Let's uh, put some bait on the hook and try it out. Dude. Get him. Dude, he's got it, he's got it. I'm on. Jack on, dude, they're on, they're over here, come here. You guys just hooked up with the jack. We've been waiting for him for like half an hour. A school just came around and circled my mind. You see him, he's right there. Oh, he's running, dude. <laughs> Don't follow him, here. You got him, dude, get him. Oh my gosh. Dude, there, look, there's like seven of them right here. Yeah. Oh, here we go, you guys. We got to work this jack real careful. We got light line. Julian's over here running after him. They're, they're still in the school. Dude, he's just taking me down. He's taking me for a walk. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get in those rocks, buddy. Don't get in those rocks. Come here. Get over here. Oh, come on, come on. It's a good size one, bro. There was. There was like five around him. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. They're right by him. Oh, I'm going to come near you. Look, they're headed down. You guys, super light line. 14 pound test. Oh, he's screaming, dude. Yo, this is gonna take a while. This guy's not giving up. He's right here in front of me, look. Oh my God, that was such a sick eat, bro. They were circling him. They were just circling him and all of a sudden they just wrecked it. Oh. Yeah, he's good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Incredible fight. This Jack is so powerful. He's not an absolute giant, but Jack, pound for pound, or one of the hardest fighting fish. Oh man, there he is, dude. He's tired. All right, get him landed. Whew. Nothing right. else around, right? My wrist hurts, bro. Oh my God. Right, oh, get, get up here, buddy. Oh, he might take a little run. Oh, you stay back that way? Bring him right, to me? Right here on these rocks, yep. Yeah, on these rocks, that's why. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's a nice one. Yeah, he's a decent one. Julian's gonna grab him for me. He's definitely tired. Yeah, definitely he's tired. Close, I can't get in there. Yeah, I got you. I'll bring him right to you. Oh, come on, buddy. It's a canal Trevally, baby. Canal Trevally. <laughs> Dude. Catching him on that 14 pound test, That baby. is so fun, man. Look at that hook set. Right in the corner of the mouth. No quit, baby, no quit. All right, you got him. Oh, oh a little bath. There you go. Woo. Dude, <laughs> I'll let him break quick. you off. Grab him by the tail. You got him, you got him? Oh my gosh, bro. What a eat, what a fight. You got him nice. Corner, yeah, hold on, let me get up here first. There we go, guys. Nice little jack on the crystal clear bro, freshwater yeah, canal. Him release him, bro. bro, that is so sick, man. Oh my god, look at that hook set. Right, on, right on the corner of the mouth. Dude, this is a this is a good size one. Dang man, my first jack out of this that canal. Is super Dude, well, it took us like over a year to figure it out, but now in a matter of two weeks, we've caught two. Oh, we yeah. got the school flared up on them. We know what they want to eat, and we're catching them on light tackle, man. That Check is so that out. cool. Congratulations, so sick. dude. Thanks, bro. All right, buddy. We're gonna let you go. We're gonna let you go, bud. Thanks for eating. Definitely needs to revive him. And he's off. 
There you go. Woo! This canal is so cool, you guys, because one special thing about it is that there are so many varieties of species. There's mine cichlids, largemouth bass, peacock bass, carp, plecos, snook, tarpon, jack. I mean, we've seen so many fish go up and down this canal. It is crazy. It leads to the ocean on one side, leads to the lakes on the other side. It's incredible. Fishing here is so much fun. All right, guys, so we're going to call it here at the uh, Crystal Clear Canal. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but that right there is a giant storm rolling in. But I caught a jack out of this canal. I've been trying to catch something out of here for so long, and I finally, finally got one. Julian didn't get one today, but he got one, what was it, last week? It was like last week. Last week he caught a jack, pretty much the same size as mine. But now we are going to head to Julian's house, and we're going to give him a couple new uh, tank pets. We got one baby mine and one Akara cichlid in here. So it should make a good addition to his tank. So that's where we are headed now. Let's go. All right, so we're back at the house. We got the, uh, the fish here in the bucket. We're going to acclimate them for a little bit. We're gonna do a little drip system, let those guys get used to the tank water, and then they're gonna go into their new home. It's been a few hours and these fish are acclimated, ready to go. Here's the tank now. Unfortunately, Julian's fish tank got ick not too long ago, and that's the reason why we're putting some new fish in here, just to replenish the, uh, the life in the tank. So he has a bluegill right there chilling. He has a peacock in the corner over there, a couple plecos swimming around here, a little snail. But we're adding the Mayan cichlid and the, I always forget the name. The Akara cichlid. Akara cichlid. cichlid. There we go. So let's see what we pick up first. So there's the Mayan. He's going to go in. Oh. Welcome to your new home, buddy. Oh, you got him in the oh, lines yeah. and grass. It'll settle. Get that stuff out. Scoop it out. Scoop it out. Scoop it out. There you go. There you go. At least that big piece of that. Oh, Bluegill's saying hello. Be nice, Bluegill. There he goes. It looks good in there, dude. All right, let's put the Akara in there. Hopefully I don't pick up like 10 pounds of grass this time, eh? Two. All right, here we go, here we go. Akara's going in. There goes number two. Oh, he is way more active. Oh, oh. oh, there he goes. Oh, that one's so pretty, dude. Look at this one. Look at him, checking it out. He's Lila, he's swimming around. Look at that one. All right, well, that is going to wrap it up. These fish are getting pretty comfortable to their environment. They're in there. They're swimming around. The other fish are uh, trying to get used to the new tenants in the tank as well. But that is it. We have two new tank pets from the Crystal Clear Ditch. As all of you love my last video, I had to link up with my boy Julian and get him some new pets. And that we did. And they are here. And they look great. If you guys have any other cool ideas that you want to see from this ditch or i do read all the comments so make sure you leave them down below as always everyone thank you so much for watching like commenting and subscribing and i will see you later